One of the most basic tasks you have to perform as a technician is updating firmware on MFPs. Doing that helps provide the latest features and capabilities to your users and helps to keep the machines running at their best. Now you've probably updated firmware so often that it's become routine. But there's a new twist. Konica Minolta's newest MFPs, which I refer to as the 4 Series, uses a slightly different procedure. The old procedure simply won't work with these machines. So let me show you the subtle differences that you need to be aware of. You'll need a computer with internet access and a USB flash drive, often called the thumb drive or USB stick. The USB flash drive has to have a capacity of 1 to 8 gigabytes and be compatible with USB 2.0, anything larger and it may not work in some machines. If your thumb drive has a security function, such as SanDisk's Cruiser U3, that must be removed. The drive also must be formatted with FAT32. Now let's get the necessary files. Point your browser to myconicaminolta.com, log in using your normal username and password, let your mouse hover over service, and then click on One Stop Product Support. All you have to do is select the model group by category, and then click Firmware to display a list of all base and special firmware for that model. Scroll through the list to find the firmware version you want. Then click the blue file name to download it. While you're there, be sure to download the release notes, usually the DLBT PDF file just below the executable. It contains important information, such as restrictions or special instructions that you should review before you install the firmware. Before you open the executable, you need to put it in a suitable location. Do not put it on your desktop or in My Documents, as those locations have spaces in their names that can cause a problem later on. Your best bet is to put the document in a location that has a contiguous file path from the root of the drive, such as the one seen here. Of course, the exact details of moving files and locations will differ depending on the operating system you're using, Windows XP, Windows 7, OS X, and so on. After you have moved the executable to a suitable location, double-click the file name to extract the contents. By default, the files will attempt to unpack to a local temp directory. To have the files extract to the current working directory, you can either browse to that location or simply type a period in the unzip to folder field, then click unzip. After the file is done unzipping, double click the new folder that appears to open it. Then open the folder that includes the firmware version in the name. This folder contains the files you need to use. Notice that the files are broken out into individual bin files an MSC folder, and an assortment of other files. This file structure is very different from the single TAR file format used in other series machines. You will need to move all of these files instead of a TAR file in order to have a successful installation. Highlight all of the files in the folder, including the MSC folder, and select Copy. Insert your USB flash drive into the computer Navigate to it and select Paste. This will copy the files to the root of the USB drive. With the USB flash drive now prepared, we are ready to load the firmware onto the MFP through the USB service port. Turn off the sub power switch, then turn off the main power switch. Remove the screw for the cover over the USB service port. Raise the cover and insert the USB drive. Turn the machine back on. After a minute or two, the control panel will show the firmware update screen. Work quickly. If you don't press one of the buttons on the screen within 30 seconds, the update will begin automatically. If this is the first time the MFP board has been installed, you'll need to enter the machine and type codes. Press the Machine Type Select button, 
then enter the codes that correspond to the machine model that you are working with. The machine and type codes can be found in the service manuals. Press Fix to apply the codes, then press OK. Note that you don't need to enter the codes if you are simply updating existing firmware. If you have more than one version of firmware on the USB drive, you can navigate to the version you want to install using the Firmware Data Select button. Select the items to be updated. By default, all modules loaded on the USB drive are set to update, as indicated by the Yes buttons. You can deselect items you don't want to update by selecting No. When you are ready, press the Start button. When the update process begins, the Start key blinks orange. When the process is finished, the Start key will turn blue. Remember those release notes that you downloaded along with the executable? You need to refer to them now to verify that the values on the screen match those in the release notes. This is your confirmation that each of the firmware modules updated successfully. Now turn the machine off using the sub power switch and then the main power switch. Now that the machine is powered off, you can remove the USB drive from the service port and secure the cover with a screw. Turn the machine back on. The first time you turn the machine back on after updating the firmware, it may take some time for the firmware update to be processed internally. Finally, enter service mode to verify that the firmware was updated properly. This concludes the firmware update process for Konica Minolta's 4 Series MFPs. For additional information, please consult the appropriate service manual and the SSD knowledge base on myconicaminolta.com. Thank you for watching.